Good afternoon. The last time Concerned Ontario Doctors was here at Queen's Park was in October. Since then, everything we spoke about, everything we were afraid of, has come to pass. Our health care system is crumbling at the hands of the Ontario Liberals. This is a perfect storm of years of chronic underfunding to hospitals and escalating reckless cuts to physician services combined with an ever-growing and aging population requiring more and more complex care. At the centre, it is our patients that are suffering and dying, wait, dying waiting for essential treatment. Treatment their taxpayer dollars fund. Treatment this Liberal government has an obligation to provide. Witnessing the consequences of this Liberal government's senseless actions has been utterly frightening. The cuts to physician services has resulted in community clinics struggling to stay afloat. Since October 1st, nearly 200 family doctors and specialists have been forced to lay off staff, reduce patient services, or close their clinics, impacting the direct access and care of nearly 200,000 patients. Now nearly 1 billion patients are without a family doctor. Ethically, with wait lists mounting to over 1 to 2 years for overwork specialists, they cannot accept new patient referrals as they are unable to see the patients in a timely manner. This is happening all across the province. In, in all specialties, from mental health and orthopedics to obstetrics and oncology, Access to these essential services has been severely restricted because of provincial Liberals refuse to match funding to actual patient need. The consequences of this are dire. With nowhere else to go, the patients are flooding ERs and creating code gridlocks across the province. This is when patient care needs exceed hospital resources. The GTA has been overwhelmed with the sheer volume of patients. One example, since February, William Osler in Brampton has called code gridlock nearly 80 to 90 percent of the time. Doctors are told to, quote, find creative solutions and are pressured to discharge patients sooner by the hospital administrators. During such code gridlocks, elective procedures and surgeries are cancelled and patient stretchers are parked in hallway corridors. This is 2016. This should not be happening. Prominent hospitals in downtown Toronto, including Sunnybrook, University Health Network, St. Michael's, and Michael Garan, are now making alarming cuts to OR blocks. Hundreds of OR blocks at each site are permanently closed due to lack of funding. Surgical wait times will lengthen by one to two years because nearly 8,000 fewer surgeries will be performed each year. 8,000 fewer joint replacements, fewer kidney stone removals, fewer cataract surgeries, fewer heart valve replacements, fewer uh, valvular bypasses, fewer spinal decompressions, and fewer carpal tunnel surgeries. 8,000 patients waiting in pain and suffering while Toronto's ORs sit empty. Nursing layoffs will follow. Highly qualified surgeons will leave the province. Out of the 13 graduating orthopedic residents at the University of Toronto this year alone, 12 are planning to leave Ontario. These cuts continue to affect the most vulnerable. Dying patients are being denied the care they so need and deserve. In Ontario, federal legislative changes will soon guarantee access to assisted death within 10 days. Assisted death will affect less than 3% of our population, while palliative care could benefit 100%. Currently, 70 to 80% of Ontarians are dying without access to quality palliative care. This is unethical. This is immoral. This is 2016. This should not be happening. Ontario's doctors demand that the Liberal government stop their reckless cuts to health care. Minister Hoskins has utterly failed at his portfolio. Concerned Ontario doctors calls for his immediate resignation. We need a health minister who is willing to work with Ontario's doctors to put an end to patient suffering and work towards creating a health care system that is sustainable and provides quality, timely care to essential services.
Thank you.